I mean, first of all, you know, Canelo needs to beat yeah, Golovkin. So, talking game. about Golovkin, how do you see this fight, you know, for September? Well, I, I think Canelo wins easily, honestly. I think Triple G's got old, you know, with everything that happened. I just think Canelo had more time to prepare. He fixed his injuries and kind of rested his body. He's going to be better. I think Triple G is kind of getting old and might be burnt out. Yeah. I, I'm going to just come out of nowhere and take Canelo and knock him out. That's exactly the plan. That's exactly what he said in his last press conference. And I mean, media workout that he did uh, this past Sunday that, you know, it's more likely that it's more personal because they, he says that in the in camp, like, Triple G and, every, and all people that, you know, they're around Triple G, they started saying, you know, things that kind of get heated up, you know, Canelo, so... Yeah, yeah. You as a fighter, what do you think, like, when some kind of issues, you know, you bring it personal, do you think that it will affect it in the ring or you have to put it on the side and then just be professional? How do you handle those, you know, issues? Let's say you are, you know... A, a boxer, huh? Yeah, definitely with me. Um, How, what would you do that? You hold what no, would... no emotion in there. Anything that happened outside the ring, if you don't like your guy or anything like that, that shouldn't do anything in the fight. Yeah. If you fight angry, you're going to get hurt. you probably get knocked out. Mm. You got to fight smart. You got to have your game plan. You know, you can you can use the anger as motivation to train harder, maybe. Yeah. But do not bring any of that into the ring. Mm. Because an angry fighter gets knocked out. Oh. Because it just... They're not smart. They're not using their skills. Yeah. This is a, this is a science. Use your skills. Use your skills. Yeah. Because I, I I was thinking I was like for one second I was like if it, what about if he Canelo brings those issues you know or he cannot handle those you know nah. kind of issues that end you know bringing it in, stepping into the ring with Golovkin and then you know I don't know you know I mean I, I can't tell about it you know. Nah, I, I I think Canelo has a lot of experience for Mayweather been at the top of the top of the food chain. He, he knows how to put that aside. I think he just using all the shit talking and all that as mm -hmm. motivation to train awesome. harder. Mm -hmm. But I think in there, he's going to be a smart fighter. Yeah. But if he has the opportunity to stop him, he's definitely going to take it. So I think it's all working in Canelo's favor. It gives him motivation. It gives him motivation. I say, you know, the best man may win, you know, because I know both of them they, they bring in everything because this yeah. is I don't know if you agree with me but this is a historical fight and Definitely. in the middleweight division you know it's like there are two names that you know a lot of people if you see a lot of people they yeah. want to get Canelo Triple G we, you know we have all these guys we have one of the Charles wants to face Triple G we have one of the Charles that wants to face um, Canelo Danny Jacobs won the rematch again with Golovkin. Yeah. All these people, they literally pointing at, you know, to these fighters. So do you think that these fighters are right now the main attraction in order that, you know, all the, these middleweight they coming after them? Yeah, definitely. They're, they're pay-per-view guys, you know. They, they, they do pay-per-views. They make the pay-per-view money. So every fighter wants to get it. They want the pay-per-view money. Uh, I think Triple G and Canelo... I'm pretty sure they got almost all the belts on the line except one. Mm -hmm. So basically, he'll be the 160 champ and 160 king, and then everyone has to come towards him after that. Yeah. So uh, I definitely think um, the winner of this fight is, is, is the king of the 160 division. You're right. I mean, and and that's why you know it makes more interesting that fight because you know I think they have. I don't know if it's me, but I feel like they have a lot of pressure on on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I would say that you know it is a it is a historical fight, and what well, man, we just gotta you know stay you know stay tuned on you know every every detail because yeah, yeah, yeah. nobody wants to miss that fight. Nobody yeah, yeah, yeah. wants to you know I guess run and grab the popcorns or something yeah. like that.